Hello, welcome back to The Witcher 3. It's me, a Proustian. So I know I said last time that I was going to continue main plot, but then I was doing stuff like selling items and repairing things, and I noticed... Oh, thanks, bud. I noticed that I had side quests. So one of them is to visit uh, Guillaume in the medic's tent. This was the guy who I think fell to the Shalemar, I think? Um, well, let's find out. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Uh, let's guess. Let me guess. Symptoms. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and no <laughs> Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. By the way, in case you didn't notice, I also changed up uh, Geralt's armor here. Gave him some puffy sleeves and some puffy pants. Um, all the better to be in uh, Quasi France, Fairy Tale Land. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Okay. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged. Ever so gently but convincingly collided with her then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase. That time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. Uh -huh. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. I love how she's just not into you is not something he's considered. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wont to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Right? Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Hmm. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. Oh no. There's a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. 
I was looking forward to winning the tourney. Very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Yeah, tell me more. This tourney, how's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, oh, marksmanship no. and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. Uh, you know what? I am poor. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Uh, let's just make it a little bit more. I'm like, I don't want to push it. 530. Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed muster. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's do it. Maybe this is how I was supposed to make my money all this time. Fine. Extorting I'll people. Look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever. I suppose just haggling. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning. Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Oh boy. Horsemanship? Roach could use some wind in her mane. Let's go for a ride. All right. Come with me. They're gonna make me race. I might as well practice. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How is it a race at all then? It's a race against time. Hmm. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Okay. I don't know if that'll be more or less stressful to run against a clock. I don't know why I find the racing so stressful in this game, but it's not just this game. It's any game that's not, like, a racing game where that's the point of me playing it. You know, like, Mario Kart is not stressful. But things like this, or in um, Horizon Forbidden West, there was, like, a little racing side quest minigame thing, and I was like, ugh... It's just not my thing. But, um... We'll give it a try. All for, uh... Vivian, I suppose. Am I gonna do this in the dark? All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route oh my stand God. dummies and targets. The oh dummies no. you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points, for now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Okay. See, this would be... Mounted Combat. Holding down an attack button will trigger a slow motion mode, which makes it easier for you to strike your target. Geralt will decide for himself which side to attack from based on the enemy's location. Okay, that's good. And then... I do not need to hold down the gallop button when I'm doing the aim. Okay. That actually feels... reasonable? Run, Roach. I can't believe I'm doing this in the dark. I'm like, I can't even... Wow. Whoa. Okay. That was terrible. This is why I'm practicing. Okay. What am I doing here? I'm just going through. I'm like... Oh. Oh, I totally missed. Okay. 
so I'm passing checkpoints, but I'm not hitting anything yet, which is... Oh, um... Yeah, see, by the time I see the thing to do, I'm way past it in terms of... And there's the time remaining. Oh, I, yeah, I'm definitely losing this training thing. That's okay. That's why I'm doing it. Okay, that was a crossroads thing. Not so fast, Roach. I guess I so, almost made it anyways. Enough, or do you wish to ride again? I am definitely practicing that no, again. I'm going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. Because that was a terrible showing. All right. I think the thing that I need to do is look for the stuff on the minimap, like the dummy and stuff, because, um... Oh, how did that miss? That actually, I felt like I was... at least had the timing. Okay, and then across... oh, I missed that dummy. Okay, up here there's a... Oh, shit. I thought I didn't have to keep telling... Jeez, Roach to run. Wow. That was... Okay. Yeah. This is, um... I hope they're as generous with the time... Come on now. ...later as they are now. Because I feel like I actually have plenty of time, even if I fuck up. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. No, I think that's that's good Enough. for now. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Uh, combat training, sure. Needs to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat, one-on-one. -on -one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights Halberd in hand. Come with me. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Could you guess as champion? The gods <laughs> have sent the beast as punishment for our sins. We have ceased to suffer. Right. Sorry, I got distracted by the beast lady. Don't, Don't crowd around. Me. Here in Beauclair, all right and fair. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. Okay, you know what? I can't do this at night anymore. It's too dark. I would prefer to do this during the day. <laughs> There we go. Ah, much better. Okay. Which are for honor, sir, we shall cross swords if you'll allow it. Okay. To death's embrace. Go on. No remorse. Okay. This part I'm not too worried about. Yeah. Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? Nah, fighting I can do. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Where to now? Let's do marksmanship. Time for some target practice, I think. I I feel like I definitely need work on this. I can Come with me. hit stuff, the but it takes me a long time. Another for the best time oh, time! Even God damn it! All his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. 
Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. <laughs> That really, that ah. comment really makes me like Guillaume here. I, the lovesick dude who's like pursuing a woman who may actually not be interested in him is definitely not a favorite trope of mine. Uh, but I appreciate. I was like, you say things that I don't understand. It's very, it's very self-aware, at least. Hit the red targets. Okay. Let's see here. What I should probably do is start on one side and work my way over, but I think I'm gonna be okay. This this is not too bad. That's not bad. Once more? Nah. Done enough shooting. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Uh, my scrolls? Is this like identification? I assume? Yeah, this is the paperwork. Read. Oh, Palmerin, huh? Hmm. So these are the people already signed up. I assume I didn't see Giarm's name on that list. Um. Oh, sure. The International Knights Tourney under the patronage of Lady Vivienne de Tabris, twelve seventy-five. Uh, these are the people registered and qualify. Gregoire, winner of last year's tourney. He shall not participate in the general, but shall fight in the final bout. Nice. To defend his title. We've got the Prince of Lyria and Rivia joining us for the third time in a row. You know, I have no idea where Rivia is. Like, that's where Geralt is from. But I have no idea where that is in relation to where we're at. Uh, we've got Horm, somebody, Prince of Maked, rumored to be of the Emperor Emir's blood for the fourth time. Palmerin, sixth time, yeah, Palmerin. Don Emir of Troy, a Redanian knight. Okay, that's a rookie. Uh, Rain Farn, seventh time, has won previously. Oh my goodness, one of her greats, Knights Errands, sure, a young knight for the first time. Uh, first time. So several people there for t first time. Oh, there we are. Guillaume, Palmerin's nephew. Did I know they were related? Uh, to another knight. Yep, that's me. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. <gasps> really? Am I gonna get a coat of arms? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Ravix of Fourhorn. What the heck does that mean? All right. Let's Kinda get more curious information. What you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge said structure spanning the Yaruga, but I wager you know of which battle I speak. Hmm. Yeah. Those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. 
Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Hmm. <laughs> and what about this? Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix I mean, of Forhorn cool was the name under which bear. I attended a feast honoring Princess Feta. Daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. <laughs> Alright, well, as cool as like the bear thing is, I'm just gonna stick with Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> I Geralt. understand. I'm about to fight under a false name. Right. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Oh, oh that's fun. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you vows? will allow me to tell you about them. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, let's hear about this. I... What's his face told me about the Dion challenges? Told me but... a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. Yeah, absolutely. An thirst for knowledge. There are contests three: a shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent; a horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena. Crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. All right. Convenient. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker <laughs> for prizes. The winner are of you? each contest shall receive a trophy. Oh, maybe those are Rafa things I can put in my house. Result. Once all contests have played out, shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially Ooh. for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. I would Her like a sword. Highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. And the vows. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Hmm. All right. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? That is a good question. Huh. You know, we'll swear on... The lady's love. I don't know what the heron has anything to do with. This just seems vulgar. We'll do that. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Oh. Oh boy. Hmm. Shiny. <laughs> you have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. This is a lot more involved than I was expecting it to be. It's cool though. Oh my god. Dressed up like a real knight. Okay, starting with the shooting range. I actually feel pretty good about that one. I am gonna save 
beforehand, though. Because I don't trust myself. Alright. Can't shoot everybody, just Geralt, the red ones. Well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? For the day. All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Farn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. No oh, Makes great. no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since as it is, we must both wait. Oh god, Play no. Me in a round of quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Uh I appreciate it, and if I were any good at Gwent, I would take you up on it, but I am not, so I would just lose anyways. Thanks. Another time, maybe. Ha! Ah, you've denied me some diversion, but at the least my eyes are in for a treat. Lady Vivian should appear shortly. you the honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year fight honorably so that i may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize you have sworn your vows you have ready body and soul the time has come to test them all right i'll do my best Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. <laughs> His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Rifia, give us a bow. <laughs> How about a head nod? That's all you get. <laughs> the targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Alright, so I gotta make sure I hit the red ones and not the blue ones, but they're gonna be shadowed, silhouetted against the sun. So, good times. Let's try this. Um, oh, nope, do the thing where you hold it down. Like a lover ghostly grasping but one fair teeth, girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter defeat. Questions, can I hit that one? Leaves the others behind? Do I see this falsely? Am I out of my mind? I hit at them all, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Oof. Home Akispark wins. What? Get out those tears in his eyes. Perhaps I thought I won. His heart yearns for a lover's soft sighs. Sir Geralt of Rivia did not give his what? best. He failed, missed his marks, and did not pass the No test. way. I thought I totally won. Okay. Listen, this is why I saved. He I'm not going down I like this. Luck. In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. I mean, they wouldn't, um, 
do that to me like scripted, right? Okay, I'm I'm gonna try Give it again. Minute. Need to catch my breath. I am I am trying that again. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if I can do this. Part of the issue was I like let go of the button in between. And I think that really slowed me down. Like a lava ghostly grasping but one fair teat, girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter defeat. Okay, I can't tell if I won or not. If I didn't win, it has to be scripted. That was just about as fast as you can possibly do it. Hey, I did it. Alright, I feel better this time. Oh, I get a prize? Okay. I am a hundred percent. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. See, cool. Now I can talk to her. The other prizes? Alas, I cannot devote more time to you than to the other combatants. I have duties to attend to. Forgive me. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. Uh -huh. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Okay, so I am definitely going to try to win each round. Work. In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Oh, fair Vivian. Thou hast Duff's eyes within thy locks. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Thy two breasts... Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. Is she actually, like, a werewolf or something? Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. That doesn't help me identify her, though. Um... Oh, there. Airs and salts. Used to make compresses. Oh. Maybe that's the key thing. Someone approaches quickly. That's not hooting like an owl. You were supposed to hoot. Right. We should speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. Okay, the racing course. Oh god. Okay, well I'm gonna save again before I race, because now I'm like, dang, I wanna win. Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous! Gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Savor their titles, on their presence be proud. 
Helmering the Baron of Longfall, Linus of Metida, Renfarn of Atra, Paul Makaspark of Meicht, Dunimir of Troy, Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess. Del Wynn of Craig Yow. Count Ty of Dondal. And say of Lilia and Lilia a Prince. Geralt of Rivia. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint power of silence, Tony Champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a bard in deceit? Does someone need telling how Tony's proceed? Uh, no, I think, uh... Everybody's looking at me. Oh, okay, tell me, just yes, to make sure. I do. The sands from the clouds retire. Any chance you could say it normally? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> the sands from the clouds retire, <laughs> and hearty toil your steed does tire. Neath all the gates you must guide your horse, and each of five targets strike with bolts. Each dummy felt adds more sand to the glass, and each true shot bolt repeats the task. Yep. All clear now. <laughs> How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, Meath, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. I feel like maybe Geralt's not very welcome in Riffia. <laughs> Chances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious. Soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Well, at least I get to go first. Oh, I'm nervous about this. Oh, geez, I already ran into something. Great. Oh, come on. That's what I'm talking about, is I swing, and it doesn't... Uh... Yeah, there was no way. Oh shit. I, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna try to run the course and see if I can be fast enough. I don't know if I can though. I'm only at two out of nine checkpoints. Oh shit, I am so fucked. Guys, I am so fucked. Okay, give me, give me. Ah, uh, don't think I did it. Okay, it really slows me down. I'm not sure I would. Uh, fucking hell. You know, I don't think I got that. I'm way off. I'm so far off. In fact, I am so far off, I'm not even sure I'm going to try this one again. Let us hope with the sword he makes no such slip. 
Yeah, the booze. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together, wine in hand. Lead the way. Yeah, I was so far off. I don't think another run would... I would have to keep trying a lot, I think. And I'm just not that interested. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Sure. To Vivian. May you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Right? Oh, Jeebus. This asshole, Your huh? presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel, then. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Mounted? Oh, fuck it. Let's do Since it. You insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. Possibly. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two. One. Come on, Roach. Oh, jeez. Nope. Oh, there's the, the slowdown. I think I... Can I shoot him with my crossbow? Oh, that was a good hit. This is much more satisfying than hitting dummies. Maybe I should have uh, practiced on that practice uh, race more just to get the timing stuff, but whatevs. Come on. Oh, oh, he got a hit on me. My hit on him was a lot better. Oh. Because I, I don't understand why it sometimes slows time and sometimes it doesn't. You know? We are really just, this is stupid. We are just dancing around each other. Come on. <laughs> there it, it was the slowdown. Trying to figure this out. running. Yeah, that actually, I think that hit him? I was like, it either it hit him or I hit, he hit, nah, I hit him. Okay, good. Yeah, I think I want to do this, have the long run up, like they kind of told us to do at the beginning. Whoops. And then, um, oh, what are you, you're still right here, huh? Fine. I won't do a long run up. He does a lot less damage to me, thank god. This is so silly. Can I use my crossbow? Damn. 
Can I use R to knock him off the horse? I know I can't, but I want to now. <laughs> because this is silly. Okay, yeah, see, I can't just sit there. If I'm sitting still, he hits me. The problem is... It's so hard for me to hit him. I've gotten, what, three good hits on him so far? There we go. Got the run up. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say you had a secret mission? Set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can what, you what accept it was. that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. All right, well, I think that turned out better than if I had not dueled. And back to drinks. <laughs> My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, Private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. And I will. Although gonna have to be next time i am out of time for today so i shall continue this tourney uh the next time all right catch you later bye